to give a, a couple thank yous before Aviva speaks. First, uh, Rabbi and Khadi, thank you for giving us the bar and bat mitzvah montage we never got. <laughs> very special. And number one, um, number two, I would obviously like to thank Aviva very much. So, as you've seen for a couple of those archive pictures, thank you, uh, Herbie and Elke, for those because I never got to see those pictures before. But I think you, you've only gotten more beautiful with age. I will say. So, uh, and being married to me, of course. But, um, so like, which is, uh, thank you so much, obviously, for your connection to Chabad, which really led to the whole path of us being here tonight and being honored by Chabad, <coughs> is by having the vision and understanding of how important Chabad is in everyday life, and particularly on campuses these days, with all the BDS movement and where minds can be fashioned so much, and understanding that even, I won't say in how many years ago, but having that vision of understanding of how important a Chabad house, particularly on such an influential campus. So A, I'd like to thank you for that. B, I'd like to thank you for introducing us to Hershey and Elke, and uh, the privilege of us being Hershey's first marriage that, we, that he uh, conducted, which was a very special moment, and to bringing that Chabad spirit that they have to us, which is a, uh, form of stability and calm and understanding that whatever life throws at you, you're able to get through and come out that much stronger. And thank you for being there for me and being here tonight and allowing for all this to happen. Thank the rabbi and the Rebbitzin for obviously giving us this honor and allowing us to participate in, in an event like this and get our family together around the dais and friends and the whole community together, which is obviously special in its own right. So the story I just want to tell is the night that the uh, rabbi asked us to be honored, which was a little bit of an unusual uh, venue. We uh, moved into our new apartment uh, right by Kalshirts Park and we celebrated our first uh, Hanukkah in our new apartment where we uh, had our, really our first family event where everyone sitting here was over at our apartment. We had a beautiful dinner, fresh tomato vodkas, and then we had the pleasure of going outside and going to do the annual uh, Hanukkah lighting, which actually we have a theme here because Aviva had the, the uh, Hanukkah lighting in our video. So as themes go through, and even my little kerchief matches the yarmulkes, totally on point. Um, so, but the, uh, and the message of that evening, which I think connects to us being parents and connected to the preschool is the fact that, um, particularly in those moments they, in December, we were talking about darkness and the theme of what was going on with, the, with uh, the Jewish people. And even we had to relight the Hanukkah because of the vandalism, that each uh, little light, you know, one little light can then change all the darkness. And even that one little spark can change that much more. So how much more so being in Chabad and the preschool of you lighting so many sparks at each and every children and each and every child in the school that allows those sparks at such a young age and an impressionable time to give to their families, their parents, and to the communities around them. So on that, you took me aside and I guess that's part of what you alluded to is one of my strengths and that's my energy that I give that you then made that offer, which is something that's so important to us that, of course, it was really an honor and a pleasure to accept to uh, do this tonight. So thank you. Very much. Keeping it short, I will then introduce my wife, Dr. B. Aviva Preminger, for a few words. <laughs> Because as my kids will tell you, I don't like getting between people and dessert. So, okay. <laughs> Abraham Lincoln once said, "Teach the children, so it will be not, so it will not be necessary to teach the adults." That, in a sense, is the beauty of Chabad Preschool, and why we as parents are so proud to associate ourselves with it. By giving our children a Jewish education, those children bring what they've learned home and continue the chain of Jewish tradition. Chabad does so without judgment and with incredible warmth. Whether through Torah classes, challah baking, weekly services, or the local mikvah, Rabbi Achani Krasniansky offer a continuity of Jewish life to those with a background and to those without. As the granddaughter of Holocaust survivors, I have always appreciated the importance of that continuity. 
I first recognized the tremendous power of Chabad in college when I was introduced to Rabbi Hershey and Elki Zarfi, who are here tonight and kind of sabotage me with those photos, <laughs> and had the privilege of helping them establish Chabad at Harvard and of serving as their first president. Since then, David and I have been lucky enough to have been exposed to many Chabad houses around the world, as far as China and Thailand, a small testament to Chabad's incredible reach and the support that Shluchim offer to Jews internationally. As parents, we have watched all three of our children look forward to Chabad preschool each day, where they were taught Jewish values, Jewish traditions, and showered with warmth and love. As Phoebe, our youngest, God willing, moves on to Ramaz, we will miss her days at Chabad dearly. We are honored to stand here today along with Eduardo and Graciela Haim in support of this very special organization. We want to thank the Rabbi and Hani for this honor and for all that they have done and do for all of our children and for the Upper East Side Jewish community. Thank you for the opportunity. We love nothing more than to see a Chabad grow and flourish. We also want to thank our friends and family for all of their support. Thank you to the dinner chairs, Peter Schwalbe and Jody Sultanoff, and the honorary chairs, Joseph and Deborah Aronoff, for all of their hard work in organizing this event, and in particular to George and Pamela Rohr for setting an example in teaching us the value of giving to Chabad. A special thank you to our parents for giving us a Jewish education and for instilling Jewish values. We are incredibly appreciative of all of your love and support. And to our children, Stella and Nathan and Phoebe for making us feel like the luckiest parents each and every day. And last, and last but not least, to my partner, David, who makes this juggling act that is our life possible. 